Seriously, these have got to be the most creative builds of all time. He's definitely got some of the best rune pages as well. Have a look at this, a full mana regeneration page. Full scaling magic resist page. I imagine this is a Riven counter page. A full armor page. Cogmore definitely loves his attack speed, so he's got that full attack speed page as well. 41.4%. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka the LOL Hounds, and today we're going to be spectating the Cogmore with the highest mastery points, over 1.5 million to be exact. And yes, he's currently still in bronze five. So this should be pretty interesting. So he's gonna be up against Diana in the mid lane and he started with three mana regeneration fairy charms, no pots. Okay then. Okay, well he managed to get to level six unscathed. So what's he gonna buy? A Negatron cloak and a magic mantle. Well. I guess Diana is definitely not going to kill him anytime soon. I must admit, he plays the lane pretty safe. He pretty much just sits back and farms as best he can. Doesn't really trade too often, so he probably plays a little bit too safe, to be honest. Oh, as soon as I say that, he could be caught out here. In comes Eve, and there's the Ignite popped. He doesn't have Flash, and he's going to go down, unfortunately. That's his first death of the game. So far, the mid lane has been pretty boring. Not much has happened, but in comes Volibear for the gank. But Super Monchi is nowhere to be seen. But the Shen ultimate actually came through onto the Diana. And now Super Monchi is going to do as much damage as he can. The taunt misses from Shen. But Eve has actually taken a lot of damage. She is pretty low. Volibear now sees an opportunity. He wants the kill, but it's not going to happen. But in comes Vladimir, and it's going to be a 3v3. Super Monchi is going to try and do as much damage. Down goes Diana, and down goes Eve as well. And Shen almost goes down as Super Monchi picks up two assists. I think this Vladimir is actually pretty strong right now. Vladimir may have got himself caught out here. And Shen with the flash taunt, but it doesn't hit. And Cogmore actually flashes away as well. I don't know if he needed to flash there, but in the end, they both safely get away. Action is happening here in the river as Vladimir almost goes down, but the pool saves him once again, and now the blue team is going to collapse onto the Shen, and he's going to go down to the Leona. In comes Diana, and he's going to pick up the kill onto the Vladimir. Eve comes in as well, and the blue team is just outnumbering the red team as Cogmore, Super Monchi, picks up the kill onto the Diana. Now it's a 1v1, but he steps onto a trap, and he's going to go down, and Siva picks up the kill, and oh my goodness, the passive from Super Monchi gets the kill onto the Evelyn, so he's now got two kills, and that is just the definition of a bronze Clown Fiesta. Blue team finally gets Dragon, and Volibear is now going to engage. It's going to be a 5v3 as Evelyn's still in the top lane and Kate's in the bot lane, and it's just going to be an easy win as Super Monchi picks up one kill, picks up a double kill. Meanwhile, Vladimir. Gets the other kill onto the Diana, but that is a 5v3, and the blue team's gonna win that 10 times out of 10. Blue team is trying to push down mid, but it's probably easier just to pick up the Baron. But Leona's actually really low, and she's gonna go down to the Diana. And there is a four man ultimate from Vladimir, and blue team is just crushing this game as Vladimir picks up a double kill, Siva picks up a kill, and Super Monchi. Oh, well, I don't think he had to do much there, he just did a little bit of damage but he doesn't really have the items to do a lot of damage. At the moment, he's just got Athene's Wit's End, Abyssal Scepter, and of course, still got that one Fairy Charm, but it's got a lot of magic resist, so it's really just a build to counter. There's a another Flash, and he steps on a trap, but he's not going to pick up a kill, but as I was saying, his build is really just built to counter Diana. 
So after blue team picked up the inhib, this red team has decided to chase the blue team all the way back. And that's a two-man stun from Bard as Vladimir is shut down. And looks like Leona is going to go down as well as Diana flashes for the kill. And Leona does go down, but Super Monchi picks up the kill onto the Diana. Super Monchi still hasn't backed since they got the inhib, but looks like Bard has been caught out. And he's going to go down, even though he altered himself, he does go down. And a three-man taunt from Shen, but this could be the final fight, as that is a three-man ultimate from Vladimir. And he does a ton of damage, that is a double kill. Volibear does go down, but Shen is going to go down as a triple kill for Vladimir. And that is a quadra kill from Vladimir, and I believe Super Wanchi has been carried pretty hard. This game is... Vladimir are going to be able to pick up the Penta kill, and they just need one more kill on the Diana, but they actually surrender. So Super Monchi and the blue team pick up the victory. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Super Monchi, the man with over 1.5 million mastery points on Cogmore. This is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and as always, have a nice day. For the most part, he would take flash and teleport for the mid lane. But sometimes, instead of taking teleport, he would actually take ghost. And that is best used to get to lane as quick as possible. <laughs>